All right, so I got the spark plug wells blown out, cleaned out. Got the spark plug out, out on uh, cylinder 10. Got the piston down, the valves closed. Checked that yesterday. So this morning we're going to start with cutting the seats, reaming, tapping, and inserting cylinder 10. Then we'll go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So what we'll start with is, this is a time cert 5553 kit. So they have this wrench that most of the other tools fit down into. has a square drive in the bottom. It's got a set screw here on the side to hold the tool in place. You can lift it in and out. So we'll start with the seat cutter. This will cut out the old threads and cut a seat for the insert to sit down into. That goes first. And we put a little packing grease around, a little bearing grease around all these flutes so that when it cuts it helps the chips to stick to it and pull back up. Next will be, maybe these should be in order, next will be the uh, reamer right here and this will cut the hole out the proper size for the tap and also don't know if you can see it down here we'll cut a new seat in the aluminum you can see this is slightly angled here at the bottom so it'll I think get a high contrast but this will ream out the hole for the tap and cut a new seat and where it stops this stop collar right here is set to stop right where this seat cutter cuts the flat. You can see this is a flat seat cut. So right where it stops cutting, this tool stops reaming. After the hole's reamed, the next is the tap. So we tap this out for the insert. So this tap is for the, not for the threads of the spark plug, but for the threads of the insert, which we'll be putting in. After the holes are tapped and everything's clean, then I swab it out with some some brake cleaner on a rag, get it as clean as possible, suck all the chips out with the vacuum, blow out any excess I can. Then we use the insert seeder, which is this little tool, fits in the end of the wrench. You put the insert on the end of it, put it down in the hole, and tighten it up, snug in the uh, seat. Excuse me, seat the insert, snug in the insert. And then finally, we use this setting tool, which you screw down in through the insert, and you notice it has kind of a weird oblong hexagonal shape. It goes down and actually expands the bottom part of the insert. The insert's slightly tapered on the inside to have it uh, mechanically deform and expand out into the cut threads to set the insert into the hole permanently. So that's the last step. So those are what the tools look like, and we'll get started using them.